And welcome to the France Van Cat debate. It's an attack at the very heart of the French Republic. This is how the country's Justice Minister, Christiane Tabera, described a recent spate of racist attacks directed at herself. Now, the politician was compared to a monkey on a far-right candidate's Facebook page and also taunted, more disturbingly, with a banana by a 12-year-old at a street protest. And the first black television news anchor here in France has also weighed into the argument, saying the nation is blighted by deep-seated racism. Joining me in the studio to discuss if indeed this is the case, uh, Louis-Georges Dain, the president of the French Black Coalition. Hello. Majid uh, Messouadoun, a uh, councillor at Saint-Denis in Paris, northern suburbs, that's been the flashpoint of racial tensions in the city. Hello, everybody. Nona Meyer, a research director at CNRS, the French Public Research Centre. And hopefully in a few minutes' time, we'll be joined by Philippe Moreau Chevrolet, a commentator at the French news weekly Le Nouvel Observateur. And a reminder that you, the viewer, can also ask questions via Twitter using the hashtag F24 debate. We've already received some interesting tweets, but we want to get some more during the course of the program. But before we begin, let's take a listen to what the Justice Minister actually had to say. I'm absolutely not affected by all this, but when you allow these kind of remarks to be made, you endanger millions of people in this country. This question is not about me. I've not been weakened, and I wouldn't be even if it got worse, even though I don't see how this could get any worse. What's more, there's such a lack of imagination because the insults have been the same since more than a century ago. Louis-Georges Tin, let me start with you. When you hear what Christiane Tobira has to say, does it make you angry? I'm angry, but not surprised. Unfortunately, we've been fr confronted to these sort of attacks regularly. So what is striking is not that there is racism in France. What is striking is the absence of reaction by the president who waited for two weeks before saying something, and this is which, uh, which is re revolting, according to me. And this is what she talks about, doesn't she, about the silence among her fellow politicians. Exactly. My organisation decided to sue the person who showed these pictures mm -hmm. about Christian Taubira, the justice minister, but we were alone and not so many politicians decided to support our minister. That's a shame. I understand you've actually got those pictures yes. there with you. The first one is the minister of justice compared to a monkey, and this is what was shown by a candidate of a far-right movement, Front National. But this is something rather common. We've got pictures also, unfortunately, from the uh, United States of Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Also pictures of Cecil Kiange, who is an Italian minister. Mister, yeah. So she also suffered from the same attacks. And Christian Tobira said, this is very regular, this is ancient, this is not new, and she's right. I've got here pictures of the 19th century, as you can see, Others from the 18th century, people who would suggest that black people live in trees like monkeys. So she's true, this is nothing new. And this is what is worrying. As you say, it's nothing new, but the fact is, Donna Mayer, that uh, her fellow politicians have been somewhat lukewarm in their reaction, haven't they? Yes, they are lukewarm, They're especially on the left. You expect the left who defends usually universalist uh, rights, of, rights of human persons to react, and they don't. But I disagree with what my colleague just said. I think the trend has, not, uh, has been worse for the last three years. There always is racism in France. But uh, there are two things that say, first, we have a survey that comes every year, and it shows that between the 90s and uh, 2010, racism, expressed racism, was going down. And there's a reverse trend since 2010. So there's something going on in France there. Two, all over big democracies, you have the idea that anti-racism is a norm. And the, the real racial things, what you are showing there, which brings us back to the 19th century, that was really going down. The real racism based on race, comparing somebody to a monkey, and that's going up again in the public space. That's a real change. Um, Nona Maya, at this point, let me just quote a survey which was carried out by the French polling agency Opinion Way back in October last month. And according to it, 59% of French people believe that racism is on the rise. 
An even higher percentage of French people, 61%, believe it's more difficult to be a Muslim in France in 2013 than it was during the 1980s. And over a third of French people also believe it's more difficult to be Jewish in the France of today than it was during that same time period. Um, and it's interesting, however, that uh, as far as black people are concerned, they believe it's actually easier these days than it was, say, 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, Louis-Georges, what would you say to that uh, finding? Well, of course, everybody now seems to say that's horrible what's happening about hate speech. But my concern is not only about hate speech, but about racism as a system. People cannot get any job, any house, any uh, and violence in the street, including from the police. So that's also part of a problem. So, of course, we can speak about hate speech, but hate speech is only the more visible aspect of racism. Most of racism is a silent phenomenon, and this is what we should look at. So it's not about criticizing racism, it's about making public policy against racism. Uh, Philippe uh, Moreau-Chevrolet, you're, co uh, you're a commentator at the Nouvelle Observateur. Um, uh, I mean, we're just talking here about the fact that we, you know, and some are arguing that there is no change in racist attitudes, that they've always been present. Nona is saying, actually, no, in the last few years we've actually seen a rise. What do you believe? I think the politics about racism have changed and there is a kind of a consensus in the political class that uh, racism is not acceptable per se, but could be acceptable in certain conditions, uh, especially when you listen to Manuel Valls. It's surprising to see that about the Romas is uh, very adamant against them and very vocal against them and nobody says anything about it. It's like it's accepted and it's very new on the left and it's very... Uh, you have to wonder whether uh, racism is not, uh, has not become a kind of new uh, political consensus well, uh, among the political class, maybe not in the country at large. So yes. is it a case that what is acceptable behaviour, say, 10 or 15 years ago, or rather unacceptable behaviour 10 or 15 years ago in these days is acceptable? It's, it's more acceptable than before. And when you see that Holland has taken maybe three weeks before he reacted to this insult, to Christian Tobiar, it's really something you, you have to wonder about what they want to do, what they want to achieve by not reacting. Obviously, he knew that he had to react, and he didn't. Uh, Majid, it sends a political message. Majid, you're on the front line. You're living and working in one of the areas of Paris that's experienced extraordinary racial tension um, at its worst. Do you think the situation has deteriorated? Yeah, uh, I think it's going worse and worse. And um, I agree with my colleague. Um, racism is not uh, also part of the right wing now. Uh, in the left wing, we, we hear uh, speeches, uh, racist speeches like Manuel Vars against Romans. And uh, I think that um, if Mrs. Tobiero was not part of the government, we have we would have never known about uh, what she uh, what she uh, uh, lived, and um, uh, everyday racism is the the most uh, important problem in uh, in a city like Saint Denis, for example. Uh, we face um, job discrimination, we face uh, police brutality, we face uh, housing problems, and um, these things are not uh, dealt with by the state and. We really feel that this is not a priority. Can I just give you one example? Uh, at the beginning, during the campaign for a presidential election, we suggest that the government should perhaps create one minister against all kinds of discrimination. That was refused. Instead, they created one minister for equal rights between men and women, which is great, one minister for youngsters, for older people, for handicapped, and nothing on racism. Why? You know? Isn't it the case, because as far as the French political elite is concerned, there is no difference between people. Vous êtes Français. You speak French, therefore you are French. But yeah. I assume yeah. you'd argue that's not but the case. why did you make a minister for uh, equal rights between women, men and women? Men and women. <laughs> and, and, and this is not the point of view of Marine Le Pen, for example. Yeah, In 2000. Uh, 11, she said that she wanted um, people born in France to have uh, French names. Uh, my name is Majid. Um, when they called me uh, Majid, my parents do, do, did not want to prevent me from being French. So I mean that uh, racism is highly, uh, um, highly in, the, in, this, in this society. And I, I don't think that, um, for example, when you saw Christian Torreira yesterday in the parliament, uh, none of the uh, right-wing MPs uh, get up to um, 
to uh, to support to, to support her and supporting her uh, is uh, condemning racism so you don't really feel that um th this fight against racism is um, is a concern of all the political parties. Christian, Christian Tobira has become a kind of a symbolic target for the right, because also because of yes. this gay marriage thing, and uh, she was really the symbol of the uh, gay wedding, and uh, the right resents her for that. So they attack her also for that, and they don't defend her because of that too. I mean, she's very, yeah. uh, in, France, in French we say mm. clivant, I don't know how to say it in English, but it's it's like she's become the epitome of the what is left of the left in the government. A, s a symbol. Uh, yeah, a symbol uh, of the left. Every would, everybody would say about the United States that Barack Obama also was elected thanks to the minorities and women as well. It's obvious. Mm. It's also the same reality in France, but nobody wants to take notice of that reality. We made an inquiry which showed that, of course, his best results, I mean, of François Hollande, our president, mm. he made his highest scores in the overseas territories, also in the suburbs, in all the places where you can find most yeah, Arab and black people. As Segolène Royal nobody, did in 2007. Yes. Of course, but more than 80% in our city, more than 80%. This reality. Yeah. But that's and precisely why they, they won't the do anything, because they think that people will be vote elected, anyway. Yeah. They should they first, perhaps the uh, take won't. care a little, bit, a little bit more of the people who voted for them. Yeah, but they voted for them, so they think that's granted. They don't have to do anything to get that vote. That's of the course. basic problem. Philippe, why have things changed now? What, yeah. what has led to this situation? We have a government that is fighting to try to communicate with the popular voters and uh, the, the most unfortunate of the voters, uh, who, are, who are now the vast majority of the voters, 60% of them are of the French people who vote are in trouble economically. They are trying to communicate with them and they don't find a way to communicate on social issues because they can't do much things now. They are uh, also uh, making a fiscal policy very hard toward that people, so we have to communicate on another level. And they're trying racism as a way to communicate. I mean, basically, uh, 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 may no, I say, may I add that's political that's, communication. Yes, but there's also a responsibility of the political elites. It's the way they frame things. Usually the example comes from the top. There are things that you, you wouldn't have heard in the political class some years before. And the turn is with Nicolas Sarkozy. It's on the right that it starts. The problem yeah, of the left is that it's mute, it's that's, silent. That's, but that's, the right, yeah. the right has definitely changed because they're in a competition with the National Front. For a while, the real racist party in France They're was the, the National ones. Front of Marine Le Pen. Yeah, but we made a mistake with National Front. We, fight, we, we fought against it and uh, made, made, made them the devil. And so they, yes. they benefited from that position. Moral is not politics. And that's not the good politics. Too. So at this point, I mean, you, you say that politicians have to lead by example, but... Are they not, frame the world. They, they frame, but is it not the case that they reflect common popular values. No, it's more complicated. There's an interaction, but they have a responsibility. The, the elites are very important. You see a definite turn in our survey data after the discourse of the speech of Nicolas Sarkozy in Grenoble in July 2010. There he definitely went even true, further, yeah, not yeah. only putting at the center yeah. of the political debate identity, Islam and all these things, but like Marine Le Pen, assimilating being foreign and being a potential criminal. The Conservative lot. Party mm. is trying With to Hollande. imitate yes. the far-right yeah. movements and the Labour Party is trying to imitate the Conservative Party. <laughs> uh, I mean, um, in 2007, 2007 um, they all run the each other. Conservative yeah. Party decided to have a quota of 25,000 people expelled every year. Mm. The Socialist Party said, this is racism. But nowadays, our Minister of they Home Affairs mm. expelled 37 yeah. people, a thousand people. That is 50% more than before. So if 25,000 mm. was racism, what is 37,000? How do you call it? it? Some may argue, Louis Georges, that this country has never really resolved the debate of who actually is French. And also <laughs> the debate about colonization. Yes. Because of course, is there is people still resent what happened in the past. And they say all those people wanted to be free, independent. So why do they come in our country? Why don't they go back to their home? Uh, Nonamai, what would you say? I mean, th this whole debate about who is a French person, who is French? Well, we used to have a very liberal legislation uh, about the fact if you are born in France, you are French. You are French. And that last uh, barrier simple, yeah. is being uh, attacked 
by the right, by the UMP, not only by the National Front. At the heart of the National Front, there is national preference. Give the jobs, the housing, the benefits, social benefits to the real French. But now, the right, the UMP, They're running after is it. It's doing yeah. the same thing. So that's really changing. The fact is, we don't know what is being French now, and that's yes. the core of the problem. Nobody knows. And, I mean, do you think the government, as a result, has to change its attitudes towards the treatment of minorities, perhaps adopt multiculturalism as opposed to integration? No, that's very against the belief, the core belief of yes. the moderate left is very against that. I mean, we have that motto that but, everybody but is equal. But clearly it's not working. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is what they should do. This is what they it's don't It's ideological. Do. That's not factual. I mean, they, they believe in that ideology that everybody is born equal, so you can't change anything afterwards. But you have it to is do not it by your working. Own. This is not working. This is not working. The way it is written in the law is reality. This is just, of course, nonsensical. But they That's believe French. that what is we written the in law. the law is reality. You know. <laughs> but w w when you see uh, the institutions or, or the medias, for example, Maybe we can say we could say that uh, um, the media's and the institutions are racist because they don't represent France as it is. You know, it's that much. You're coming yes. up to mm. something I wanted to say because as an outsider living here, it is extraordinary when you turn on the television and uh, look at the faces that it's it's rare to see uh, African faces. And the yeah. new CSR make, makes a report each year telling exactly that, and nothing mm. changes because it's against our cultural beliefs. That's or look at the parties. How many elected representatives at, do you have? You parliament. go on look the other the side parliament. of the channel, it's a complete it's difference. A shame. Interestingly, it's a shame. the first, the only one to really act on this was Nicolas Sarkozy in 2007. Yes. Yeah, but it was just on for right. communication. Maybe, but he it did was it. Just for yeah. At least he did it. Yeah, he did yes, it. But uh, 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 I know you I, I, have I, Najat Belkacem. Yeah. It's a kind of a new tradition. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, they, 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 they have their, <laughs> no, their, they have their quotas, you know. But no, this, why, is a, uh, this is a good thing. Why not? Uh, I, I'm against the quotas, but uh, I, I think I think that uh, yeah, that's we, the we should. Uh, uh, but we, why are you against quotas, Majid? Because I would argue, uh, I, I, find, I find that very yeah, surprising. She's discovering the French debate about race. It's, 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 it's very sad. It's very sad uh, uh, to to, um, to to come uh, and to to. Uh, into an end to, to, to say that uh, to represent the minorities, to represent France as it is, a multicultural country, we must have quotas to, to, uh, to make all I the... I would agree with you but if you had a better solution to yes. solve the problem. How I do don't have any better that? solution, so but we have... Let's try this. But <laughs> what, what, my, my, my opinion is that we have to be where the decisions are taken in the political parties. But how do you make it? That's a question. Uh, how do you make that happen yeah. if, if the elite are refusing? To yeah, let you, people you know, from yeah, other yeah, parts yeah. of society I, I, to enter. I, I think that uh, with the next elections, we we will see uh, a new turn because uh, uh, the the local elections that are. But this yeah. is what everybody comes. Com yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, 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 yes, but, but I'm terribly sorry. We're going to have to leave it there for a moment. Um, you don't go away. This argument or conversation is going to continue after a short break. Uh, do stay with us here in France Bancat.